If we're live, we should be live. Are we live? Show me myself, please. Hmm, looks good there. Let's check the other place. It's important to make sure. For fuck's sake, Twitch. Ah oh, ha ha ha! There we go. Ooh. All right, we have sound and we have picture. Hello, everyone. My name is Allie. I'm from OK to Be Fat because it is OK to Be Fat. Welcome to the Yakuza stream. We stream all the Yakuza games in a row, in order. Asterix, the order is complicated because it's Yakuza. We're going to do it. Uh, maximalist approach. That's what I like. OK, so hello. Welcome. Um, Let me do the thing. We have people to thank. So thank you to the following people, uh, Quippish Pip, Bothering Snape, KK Lean uh, 1686, Empty the Tanks, Anxious Rhythm, uh, Psy Practicing, Helexo, Cupcake Fox, Helen Rosamond, Catch, Rini, Arco Potato, uh, Anarcho Potato. I love that, and um. Epi Aaron, thanks y'all so much for the follows. I appreciate it so much. All right, bang, let's get started. Kitty is like, I'm going to Camarocho tomorrow. I should head home and get some sleep when I'm ready. And I'm like, yeah, when I'm ready, he's going to do a lot of work there, sweetie, because uh, let's go have some Okinawa fun. We got all kinds of sub stories opened up, and I gotta eat all the foods, and we got coin locker keys, and we gotta check on Waluigi 2, or, no, 3, Waluigi 3, we gotta check on her. So, we got all kinds of stuff to do. So let's, uh, let's take, let's take a look at stuff, and it's gonna be a good time, and I hope you have a good time. Alright, let's go. I, did I, I didn't even open the coin lockers, Jesus. Oh, it's because we were so... Uh, that was, like, so at the end of the stream. All right, coin lockers! Wrong. Oh, shit, this is because there's a haunted coin locker. Yeah, there's definitely a voice coming out of there. What's wrong out here? Hey, old man, isn't it past your bedtime? Dot, dot, dot? You better run on home. A lot of, a lot of wild shit goes down here, around here at night. Catch my drift. Hey, do you know about haunted coin lockers? There's a weird sound coming from locker 44. You boys ever heard of the cursed locker rumors going around? I just heard them myself from a couple of teenage girls. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? How the hell do you know about Locker 44? Who told you? Oh, so there is something suspicious going on here. Thanks for confirming that. Oh, man, himbo power. Huh? Yeah? Well, let me confirm something else for you. Anyone who knows about this locker gets the living shit kicked out of them. Hey, Captain, say hey, hey, how you doing? Oh, yeah? I don't think so, buddy. Wahaha. <laughs> you hit me a couple times, though, so I can oh, fuck it. What? What? Alright. Oh, shit. That's a nice one. Oh, I kicked him up. Bam. And that was your face. Moderately disassociated, but ready for dudes and or himbos. Yes. You pay for this. I won't. I never will. What were those guys up to just now? Looks like they dropped this. I got locker key number 
44. Oh my god, y'all. That's the haunted locker. Oh no, now I gotta open it for sure. There's like an even chance this is actually a ghost. Um, because we've definitely had ghosts before for sure. Yeah, give me that haunted locker. Mystery cell phone. Ooh, what is it? Salmon Royale, that's nice. Super resin. So we're going to get some crafting. Royal Joker card. I honestly think... We just finished Dead Souls this weekend, by the way. Um, we are taking a little bit of a Yakuza break because it is Riverdale time. Because it's the time of year that all the Riverdale episodes have come out. And I'm like, yes, give it to me. Give it to me. We're like four episodes in and like... A bajillion things have happened. It's amazing. Like, we've already had a time jump. <sighs> All kinds of stuff. Ooh, blackjack. Hmm. I'll send that. I can go get it if I want it to go play blackjack with. I've not watched a Riverdale before. Oh my god. Okay. So, like, how much do you want to know about Riverdale? Because there's so many things to say about Riverdale. So very many. Um. <sighs> like. The amount of time. I'm just like, honey, we're like counting up serial killers because there's so many. And it's, it's just like everyone Betty is related to ends up being a serial killer, except so far her mom. Although her mom did end up in um, the hippie organ stealing cult, um, which was a bad scene. I mean, I am very miffed. That they, um, fake raptured the, um, the organ stealing hippie cult, um, which was in a season where we had two cults. Um, so you have to keep that in mind. I don't like the modified lighter. Alright. Just a cell phone. Oh, now I see the picture. Right, and then, like, I'm just like, did Kevin ever get his kidney back? Or what? Because it really seems like he didn't. And, like, man, he must love fangs. I swear to God. Because that's, like, a hell of a thing. I mean, I would give up a kidney for Josh, but, like, we've also been together for a decade. So, like, and they were teenagers, and also there was a cult involved, and the Gargoyle King, but that wasn't even with that. That was a whole other thing. That was the D&D &D cult. They had the Gargoyle King, and there were multiple Gargoyle Kings. There ended up being so many Gargoyle Kings, but the, like, main one was Veronica's dad. I think. Honestly, it's hard to know. All those noises were coming out of this thing. Like, every episode of Riverdale is like 50 pounds of plot in a 5 pound bag like just just thing after thing after thing and like with my ADHD I'm just like yes because this amount of stuff and it just keeps going and it's so it just escalates and you're like how can they keep escalating but they do and I love that it's I'm never bored with Riverdale because they're always doing something like I guess Sh Cheryl's mom living in the walls and then like man I am <sighs> I'm just like, Riverdale, I only care about the gay people. Don't you let these gay people be broken up. You get them back together. I don't care about this heterosexual tomfoolery, okay? None of that matters to me. You let these heterosexuals break each other's hearts. That's fine. 
okay? You break your heterosexual hearts. There's plenty of y'all, but like, Cheryl and Tony, uh-uh. You broke them up. I'm so mad. You better get them back together. I, I'm not stand for this. I'm gonna stand for this. Y'all, I refuse. I fucking refuse. Tony and Cheryl forever. I love Cheryl. I want Cheryl to step on me. Honestly, I kind of want her most to step on me too. Although I think she's good. I think she's evil. Cheryl seemed like she was evil, but she's just like very, very high femme, strong top. And like, you know, I mean, I like that energy in someone who isn't evil. So there you go. Well, now what I'm supposed to do with this cell phone? Like, is it in my inventory? This cell phone was in a coin locker. Is that ever gonna... Oh, that's Kiryu's cell phone. <laughs> Y'all, look at this. Look at this. Look at this item description. My cell phone. I finally figured out how to send emails. Oh, sweetie. That's a good job. <laughs> you know Haruka's on there being like, Uncle Kaz... You can't just... Some of these emails are fake. And they're from con men. And Kiryu's like, not con men. And she's like, yeah, con men. I'm sorry. Let me let me change your email settings, Uncle Cass. Mm. Was it around here? God, this sucks. What's wrong? He's such a good learner. He, d he is. And honestly... Just watch. Through this whole series, Haruka has, like, always had his number. Since she was a baby, she had his number. The one time he tried to, 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 like, fight her on something, he ended up deciding that she was right in the end. And so, like, he now he's just like, well, I mean, Haruka says it's a good idea. And, like, I, Haruka is really the brains of the operation, like, let's be honest. Um, Kiryu is a sweetie. He is the sweetest, sweetest man. Um... But he's a little bit of a himbo, and you know that's okay. We all, none of us are good at everything. <laughs> and you know what? He is a diligent like learner, and he does try, and I love him. And everything that he does is like really, so much of it comes from a sense of him wanting to be kind, and I love that about him. What's wrong? I lost a key somewhere around here. You haven't seen it, have you? A key? I can't say that I have. Shoot. I live on the third floor here, and I know I had it when I left my place. So if I dropped it, I must have done so somewhere around this building. Or maybe it's when I was looking out that window? I bet I can find it if I look hard enough. Oh, good! The first person view mission. I love this. Could you let me know if you see a key around here? Thank you so much for your help. I remember this kind of... Oh, fuck. Hi. Maybe it's somewhere totally random, like caught on the roof or something. Or maybe it was when I was looking out that window. The third floor window? Oh, I fucking see it! I see it! Okay. Alright, let me get away from her. That's it. Hey, what's that? That might be the key that woman was talking about. Keys are always very shiny. I'll have to tell her about it. I'll tell her about it now. Where did I drop that key? I can't get back into my place without it. Hey, you were looking for your key, right? Hi. Yes. Did you find it? Maybe. There's something up on the edge of that hallway on the third floor. The third floor? Oh, that could be it! I'll check and see. Could you just wait here a second? I will. Trusting your children to do the brain stuff. <laughs> yep. That was it, all right. What a silly place to drop a key. I must have fallen when I was looking out the window. <sighs> Unbelievable. Thank you so much. I don't know if you could call this a reward, but here. 
I got a locker key. A locker key? You mean those lockers? The ones that I opened? Oh, yes. If you look hard enough, you'll find them all over the place. I don't know why, but people are so careless with these things. I found this one earlier and opened up the locker, but I had no use for what was in there. I bet it would come in handy for you, though. Anyway, I have to hit the road. Thank you again. Oh, man, I wonder if I can make ass quills now. That sounds... Vaguely illegal, but hey, no point in looking a gift horse in the mouth. Looks like I have a locker to open. Yes, I got XP for that. Fuck yeah, and now I'm gonna get something out of the lockers. Oh shit, there's one on top of the locker. I just saw it. Adele Servan, hello, hello. Losab, hey, kitty, you side quest. How y'all doing? Ooh, hyper stun gun. Toughness, see, you may go to the bin. That I mean, their hideout. Oh no, there's one on top. I can see it. Yeah. What's this? I got a locker key. Ooh, super resilient resin. Very nice. Awesome. How's everyone doing tonight? I hope it's well. Hmm? So. K Chrome. It's him. That's the bastard who took our locker key. Oi. Hey, I'd appreciate if you could give us back that locker key, big fella. That locker's real important to us. You mean the one that had this phone inside? So you opened it. Well, now that you've seen what's inside, we can't let you go unharmed. It's just a phone, guy. Huh? Kill him if you have to. Just get that cell phone back. That seems like a bit of an overreaction. The gang brought reinforcements. But for why? Oh my god, y'all. It's just a cell phone. He probably would have gave it back to you if you just asked. Kitty's nice like that. Oh, fuck you, dude. It's an awful lot of them. Maybe I should use a weapon. This is annoying. Ooh, I do have that bat. Ooh, I just got a gun! Mm. Also, I have this umbrella. Ooh, I have a stun gun. Wee! All right! And fuck y'all. Mo, whoa! Does this gun have, like, infinity bullets? No, it does not. <laughs> now you will have the blood mouth to protect their burner phone of crime, right? K what's the deal with you? How about you tell me what the deal is with this cell phone? That's, uh... Don't worry. I'm not with the police. As long as you're not using this thing to hurt anybody, I might consider looking the other way. <sighs> Okay, it's a modified cell phone. All calls are free, and since it's under a prepaid contract, none of the data leads back to a single individual. And you're selling these illegally or something? Oh. That's the idea. We didn't want a chance getting caught in the act of handing over the goods directly, so we thought about using the locker instead. And thanks to the recent spread of the so-called cursed lockers, people have been staying out of our hair. So far, it's worked out great, and until you came along. Guess that means our business in downtown Ryukyu is pretty much boned, thanks to you. Well, let's get out of here, fellas. Burger phones of crime! I guess they won't be making any shady deals around here for a while. I'll let it slide. 
just this once. Is he a pretty good dude? Can I upgrade? No. No one ever gives Kiryu, like, a chance to explain that he doesn't care about their bullshit. <laughs> you know? Oh, right! I got them drinker thingies! Mm, uh, that's not gonna be nice. Yeah, all right. Oh man, we gotta check on Waluigi 3. Kitty's not gonna read the phone now? Nah, he don't care. Hello, will this be for here to go? I will eat here. Nice. Goya burger set. The slight bitterness is addictive. Not for me. I can't really hack bitter, but like I know people that like it, and I hope that they enjoy. I'm one of them weird super taster people where I'm just like, if it is even slightly bitter, I'm like, I'm out. I can't handle it. It's like uh, I got that cilantro thing too, where cilantro tastes like soap, and I'm just like, this sucks. Why can't I eat delicious things? <sighs> what should I do? What should I say? I gotta talk to her somehow. Hey, could you move? You're kind of blocking the restaurant. I know. I'm sorry. I, um... Huh? Are you okay? Please, I need your help. Tell me how to be a man! <laughs> I'm nosy. I'm gonna read it or stomp it. Listen, I'm reading it too, but actually, I don't know. If they're doing crime with it, I might would just toss it, to be honest. I'm like, I don't need to know about that. And then if anybody asks me about it later, I'll be like, man, I just threw that shit away because uh, I'm a shit liar. So <laughs> please tell me how to be a man. What are you talking about? I know it's a weird thing to ask a stranger, but I don't know what else to do. Look, calm down. What's got you this freaked out? I'm really, really sorry to spring this on you. I just need to talk to someone about this. Aww. Y'all, this is the daddiest, daddiest game. Can't do everybody's dad. Okay, what's going on? So there's this girl who works at the burger joint. The moment I saw her, it was love at first sight. I just, I don't know how the, the right way to tell her how I feel. <sighs> I never liked anyone like this before. And when I asked my friends at school to help me, they just made fun of me. I made it to the front of the shop today, but I couldn't get myself to actually go in. That's where I'm at. So that's your problem. I don't know if I'll be much help. What would you do if you were in my shoes? Would you just straight up tell her how you feel? Or, let's see. Suck it up and talk to her. You could write her a letter. Just give up on her. Just talk to her, buddy. You can do it. Just suck it up and talk to her. Man up and t tell her how you feel. I mean, I'm not sure... Wait. Okay, that's not what I meant. I meant, like, have you talked to her at all? Because, like, you should do that? I don't know. Okay. You're right. I should just man up. Okay, here I go. Ha. Go for it, kid. Well, what'd she say? The only thing I could say was my order, and now I've got an empty heart and a full stomach. What happened? Did someone else butt in on your confession? No, it was all me. I 
I tried, but I couldn't get myself to talk to her after all. <sighs> what am I gonna do? You really do need help, huh? Hmm. In that case, how about... Let's see. Invite her to a movie. Invite her to see a movie with you. It's a tried and true classic. You're right! There's a romantic comedy out this week, too. I'll go ask her. Do it, buddy. You can do it. I've got the sinking feeling his invitation isn't going to make it past his lips. How'd it go, little buddy? I got a shake with my burger combo. It was almost too much food for me to eat. Oh, sweetie, he's nervous. Movie is also better than going Cyrano de Bergerac on her. I know, but I think that's the answer here. How many burgers does that make now? Uh, more importantly, did you ask her about the movie? Well, she was talking to one of the other workers about how she hates going to movie theaters. It just wasn't the right time to ask her to see a movie, you know? Well, that's actually thoughtful, so okay. Are you sure you're serious about this girl? Let's see. Ask her out, sweetie. Just walk up to her and ask her out. All you have to do is tell her you're interested and see where it goes. What? But, but I can't do that. Quit whining! Of course you can do it! Straighten out that spine of yours or I'll straighten it out for- Kill you, this is a little bit too much, sweetie. A little bit too much. It's a little much. Okay! I'll give it all I've got. Here goes nothing. He's gonna get another burger. If this doesn't work, he's sore out of luck. How'd it go? The best I can manage right now is ordering burgers. I don't understand how you can even eat that much. Well, I mean, he is a teenage boy. <clears throat> I can't even know. No, sweetie, no. <laughs> no, sweetie, no. I... <laughs> I guess it's up to me to do something. Let's see. I... <laughs> I'm honestly going to say write her a letter before having Kitty do it. Why not try writing her a letter? If you're having trouble speaking the words, you could try handing them to her. That's a great idea. I already wrote her a love letter, too. I have it on me, even. I'll go give it to her. He's going to get another burger. Well, he certainly came prepared. Did you give it to her? No. I bought a burger instead. What happened to the letter? I couldn't find the courage to give it to her. I'm so pathetic. What am I going to do now? Kitty is a snack, lol. But then aren't the employees like 18 and Kitty is like 30? Oh no, sweetie. He's like... 37 or like 38 something like that this is worse than I thought but in that case how about he was born in 19 um 68 and this is taking place in <sighs> they did a time skip so I think it might be 2000 I don't know I forget 68. Yeah, he was born in 68, but I forget which year this is supposed to take place in. Um, maybe 2009. So he'd be like... 41, I think. He might be in his 40s here. This is worse than I thought. In that case, how about... I mean, the thing is, he also ages backwards as the gaze... As the games go on, he ages backwards and becomes more beautiful. <laughs> Let's see. Please send her a text message. How about you text her how you feel? 
I'm not a big fan of doing stuff like that over text, but if you can't tell her in person, that might be your best bet. Does he have her phone number? Oh, good idea. Wait. What's wrong? I don't have her number. That should have been your first reaction to that suggestion. What else? Let's see. God damn it. All right. I'm going to go into the shop and ask her out for you. Wait, what? Look, you're not getting anywhere with this. I'll talk to her for you. Just follow me in. Wait, but... Just pipe down and follow me. <laughs> and that's how it is. Hi, I'm this hungry teen surrogate dad. He likes you a lot. Give the kid a chance, just one date, to see if you jive. I know. Yep, yeah, please? Mm, I'm sorry. I'm more interested in this older gentleman. Eh? Wait, what? This older gentleman? I'm more into mature, dependable guys like him. At least, that's who I'd rather go on a date with. What? But... No... Hey, what's the big idea? This isn't how it was supposed to go at all. Why am I the bad guy here? You came by a half dozen times to buy burgers, but it was all because you had a crush on me? No, I mean... I just think you're... Then why didn't you just ask me on a date? I'm not really attracted to guys who don't have the courage to do something like that. I mean, harsh, but... Fair. I mean, if she's not into it, she's not. <laughs> He's her dad, OMG. <laughs> Big bubble galaxy. Ugh. Well, buddy, sometimes it goes that way. Let that be a lesson to you. That's why I didn't go in, dude. Chicks love my polygon ass. It's true. Well, take this as a life lesson. Next time, take things into your own hands and ask her out yourself. God damn it! The next time I meet the woman of my dreams, I'll ask her out. I swear! Alright. Good. Well, I solved the problem. Anyone else got some pro- Oh, sorry. I just knocked an old guy down. That's kind of... <laughs> Whoops. It's hard, though. It's so crowded. Mmm. Thunder God. Ooh. Oh, double finishing blow. I like that. Yes! Kamaki dodge shot. I love it. So what you smiling about, old man? Were you heading to the hostess club or something? Must be nice to have money. Actually, it makes me so damn mad. I didn't want to take it out on you. I'm sorry, I was just trying to check on Waluigi 3. I didn't know about all this shit. <laughs> Ooh, he's got the blood mouth. Shit, this sucks. Can't believe I lost a fight I started. You're going to a hostess club, right? Let me help pay for that. I got a strangely small special police baton. <laughs> okay. That is weird. I didn't even get hit at all. That sucks. Nah. Oh, pardon me. Have you seen my daughter? I can't find her anywhere. Please, she's wearing blue. Calm down. Tell me what happened. I'm sorry. It's my daughter. I think she's lost, and I just told her to stay close to me, too. I'm from Tokyo. I'm only here on vacation. I don't know this place at all. <laughs> Please, could you help me look for my daughter? She can't be that hard to find. My Sakura is... <clears throat> my Sakura is cute enough to be on TV. A lost child, huh? Seems pretty urgent. Alright, I'm in. Sure, I'll help. What does your daughter look like? Thank you. She's wearing her favorite straw hat. 
I told her not to leave the arcade here, so she probably is in here somewhere. All right, if I see her, I'll be sure to call you over. I don't want you to miss her if she does come this way, so you stay put, okay? Locker key! she is. Oh, no, wait. A girl in a straw hat? Is this the last kid? Hey, is your name Sakura by any chance? Uh. That's right, mister. But why? Oh, I know. You must have seen me on TV, right? That woman said something about TV, didn't she? I guess this must be Sakura. I'll go get her mother. Your mother's been looking for you. Wait here. I'll go get her. Sakura, where on earth have you been? Huh? Who are you? Wait, are you the Sakura-chan? Hold on. You said you were looking for your daughter. Is this Sakura or not? Well, uh, that is my daughter's name, but... I'm Kanako Sakura. What's going on here? Huh? Don't tell me you don't recognize her. She's a famous TV celebrity. My daughter's a big fan. Kiryu never recognizes anyone, okay? He didn't know who Steven Spielberg is. He don't know who this chick is. He don't know. This is turning into a bigger headache than I was expecting. But I do think that's the same hat my Sakura was wearing. You mean this? <laughs> Isn't it adorable? I swapped hats with the girl I met over there. She wanted the baseball cap I was wearing. Well, she's your biggest fan. No wonder she wanted to trade. I'm sorry to bother you again, but... Uh, would you mind looking for my daughter again? M my Sakura? I, I guess not. So we're looking for a girl in a baseball cap, right? I'll see if I can find her. Goodbye, famous child. <coughs> well, this child's wearing a baseball cap. A girl in a baseball cap. Is this the right Sakura? Hey, there. Um, is your name Sakura? Kiryu, why didn't you get her family name? Mm -hmm. Nuh-uh. I'm Connie. Who are you? I'm just looking for a lost girl. Where'd you get the cap? Mm -hmm. This? There was this girl from Tokyo who said she wanted my ribbon, so she traded me for it. A ribbon? <laughs> Great. I like sports. I don't want to be a girly girl. But my mom just won't listen. She keeps dressing me up in cute stuff. Okay, well, thanks anyway. Now I'm looking for a girl in a ribbon? Why does this have to be so complicated? You know... Lamp shading the fetch, fetch quest. Don't huh? make it not a fetch quest. The lost child just wanted an outfit change. So many outfit changes. He he he. Hey pops, you got money, right? Share the wealth, man. You won't. Well, you're gonna pay one way or another. Ra! I don't think so, ho. Now everyone, run to watch. All right, I'm gonna let y'all hit me a few times so I can have some fun. All right, that's that that seems like enough. Oh shit, that's new. <laughs> what do I got? Ooh, it's a beer bottle. No way! This can't be happening! Hey! I guess I should apologize, huh? I hope this will make up for it. Got a soft 5,000 yen. The adjectives are a delight! I could have soba. Soba! Yeah! Thank you. Delicious. Thank you. 
Oops, sorry guy. Alright. Oh, here's a child. With a ribbon. I see a ribbon, but... Excuse me, I'm, uh... I'm guessing your name's not Sakura. <coughs> nope, I'm Tomo. Who's Sakura? Let me guess. You got that ribbon in a trade with some other girl. Hey, how'd you know? Isn't it just the cutest? She wanted my animal backpack, so I swapped for her ribbon. So now we're looking for an animal backpack. What's wrong, mister? You don't look so hot. It's nothing. I'm fine. I guess now I have to look for a girl with an animal backpack. Okay. Is she down here? Probably not. It's a little back alley-ish. Alright. She's really grooving it. Grooving it. Moving it. Oh, I see a marker. Hello, small child. She did say she was going to get a souvenir, and she's wearing blue. An animal backpack. Is this finally Sakura? Hey, what's your name? Huh? I'm looking for a lost girl. Her name is Sakura? Hey, that's my name, but I'm not lost. I'll be back in a second. I'm going to go get your mother. <sighs> Sakura, where on earth have you been? <laughs> huh? But you told me to wait here while you did your shopping. I did no such thing. I've been looking for you all over this yard arcade, young lady. Uh... This happened last vacation too, Mommy. You got totally lost, and Daddy said you had no sense of direction at all. Huh? Oh no! Daddy said that too? He did. Looks like Mom's the one who got lost. Anyway, where'd you get that backpack? <laughs> I traded for it. Isn't it the cutest? It is! And it wouldn't have been cheap if we bought it at a retail price. Dot dot dot? Oh, that's right. I have to thank you for finding my Sakura. Um, this has been a strange interaction. This isn't much, but I insist. It's the least I can do to thank you. Alright, 3,000 yen. Okay, Sakura, let's go. And don't leave my sight again. You hear me? Bye-bye, mister. Sorry about my mom. <laughs> These are some sassy children. She pulled off a lot of trades while her mom, while her mother was wandering. I guess she gets her smarts from her dad. So rude. Wow. Kid you. A little bit spicy there, huh? A little spicy. A little bit. Also, not, not really one to talk, sweetie. I'm going to sell this fish. Yeah. Oh. This guy's having a problem. I'm so very sorry, sir. I know you specifically requested the sea bream, but it's out of my hands. Don't give me your excuses. Do you realize I reserved that fish an entire month in advance? Excuse me. Can I see what's fresh today? Yeah. Wait, aren't you that fellow from Nakahara-san's? That's me. I'm Kiryu. Now, what's the problem here? Well, this gentleman reserved the Ryukyu sea bream, but... I may have sold it to a local restaurant. What, is it rare? Quite rare. It can only be caught off the shores of the Riku Islands. Once you try it, well, it's a life-changing experience. My daughter and her husband are coming home, and I wanted to celebrate with her favorite sashimi. I see. Can't you get it back from the guy you sold it to? No, just, like, give him a refund. In theory, maybe, but we're talking about a big, brawny guy. Real beast of a chef. I told him up front I couldn't sell the fish, but he made it clear I did not have much choice. Hey, I know. You're tough enough to stand up to him, Kiryu-san. Could you get the Ryukyu Seabream back? That 
That's a lot of stuff to say. Mr. Abel, hey! So glad he's be allowed back after punching up the place. Yeah, they like him. Please, I can pay you for it. Up to 200,000 yen, even. You'd be doing the two of us a big favor, so. I will help you. That's a lot of money. I, I guess I have to. Where's this restaurant, anyway? You mean you'll do it? Thank you so much. The restaurant is next to a place called South Island on Hatsumashi South. Oh, and here's the 200,000 yen. Good luck. I know you can do it. Got it. Hatsumachi South. I'm on my way. Can I buy stuff from these guys? Can I Can I sell you fish? <laughs> I'm here to sell and I see a shiny. Um a giant blue parrot fish, please. Get that out of my inventory. Thank you. Yeah! Oh, god damn it. Locker key! Alright, fucking fine. I'll get your fish. Wait, did that guy say the 200,000 yen was for the fish? Like, I gotta give that to the chef? Or, like, is that mine? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. You butthole. How do you expect to deliver all these orders? I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had so many of them backed up like that. Do you honestly think you can deliver these all by yourself? No. <clears throat> ah, I apologize. I didn't mean for you to see us like this. Is something wrong? It's just that this butthole took on far too many deliveries than he could handle. And it's not like we have anyone else on hand to help, either. I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. If only I had one more person to take on deliveries. That would be so much help. Oh. But where could I fi possibly find someone that would help out on such a short notice? Video games are funny because sometimes a hundred thousand currency is a lot of money and sometimes a million currency is not a lot of money and sometimes that is all in the same game. So true. Yeah, that might be tough. Well, never mind about that. You're here for some of our delicious soba noodles, aren't you? I'm gonna deliver soba. How about if I lend a hand? I'm sure you need all the help you can get. Would you? That would be wonderful. We just don't have enough delivery people here. You'll have to visit three locations. The drugstore in uh, Karyushi Arcade, the Mahjong Parlor on e East Hatsumashi, and the Info Center in Hatsumashi. The soba you'll be delivering is here in these boxes, so you could take them around to all three of those locations. You've got fi five minutes! F bitch! What? Oh, no! Oh, I hate times missions. It's so stressful. Okay. It's a public market. That's a north public market. Fuck. Drugstore, drugstore. Okay. Keep going this way. Fuck! Which one? No, god damn it. Run like the wind, sweet baby kitty you. The drugstore. I'm sure they've been waiting for their soba. Timed missions always make me feel bad, even if I do them very well, which I do not always do. I will say, for this game, they're usually pretty generous with it, but it just stresses me out. Hello? Your Okinawan soba delivery has arrived. Yes! You got here pretty quickly, too. Thanks. Mmm, smell those pork ribs. You just can't beat them. Well, here's what I owe you. See you next time. Okay. Alright, map. Uh, map. Okay, so... Hatsumachi is over... So I gotta go... Where the fuck am I supposed to go? God damn it, I already forgot! Okay, that's awkward. 
Ghost Guide. That's the Night Guide. So I gotta go to the Night Guide. And the Mahjong Parlor. Okay, so... Where the... F so if I go out here and I just keep going around, I'll hit the Mahjong Parlor and the thingy's right there. Alright, sweet baby, run like the wind! Huh? Fuck cars! Coming through! Soba! Run! I gotta go around here. Fuck! Run! Give him a scooter or some shit. This ain't even right. When I was delivering pizza, I wasn't running it to the place. Here we go, here we go. The Mahjong Parlor. I'm sure they've been waiting for their soba. Hello? Your Okinawan soba delivery has arrived. My beloved pork rib noodles have arrived at last. Mmm, and it smells divine. I heart Linux, happy Monday, happy Monday! How are you? I hope you're doing well. I've gotta eat them at least once a week, you know. Well, here's what I owe you. Thanks for coming out this way. All right. Okay, time to find my next customer. And I know just where that place is, I think. Yeah, it should be here. The info center in Hatsumachi. They must have been waiting for their soba. Hello? Your Okinawan soba delivery has arrived. And not a moment too soon. I'm ravenous. Come on, bring it over. Here's what I owe you. Now I gotta eat fast while the place is empty. Smart. That's all my deliveries. Now to get back to the Okinawa soba joint. <coughs> oh, good. Oh, you're back! I didn't expect to see you so soon. This is everything they paid me. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. You really helped us out of a pinch. So I'd like to give you a little something. Oh, and I threw in some extras. Just to show my gratitude. Uh, 10,000 yen. Next time you visit, you can just relax and enjoy your meal. I promise. Kitty, you friend of the working man. Things are great. I colored my hair last night and it looks awesome. Oh, that's great. What color? All right. So I'll just go do that again because I was going to go. Oh, my God. I see a shiny. I see it. I need to go to Hot Sumashi anyway. Fuck yes. Bitch. You're mine! Number one locker key. Ichiban! Wee! Wee! Sorry, I shouldn't weave, because they do try to get out of your way. Alright. Somebody fight me! Let's go see how Waluigi's doing. Oh, do I got anything I want to put in here? It was supposed to be purple, but I think the pigment degraded after sitting under the sink for like a year and a half. It's smurfy blue. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I love a smurfy blue. Nice. All right. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, guy. You wanna die? Fuck the hell off! You, you fuck the hell off! Ooh. What, me? Oh, that guy's a barker, I see. Oh yeah, it's this guy. What's up, guy? <laughs> I finally got a Ryukyu Seabream. Once Kazuchan hears about this, he'll be a regular for life. Hey, you're the one who bought a Ryukyu Seabream at the public market? Huh? huh? Yeah, that was me, alright. Why do you ask? Somebody else had already reserved that fish. I'm gonna have to buy it back from you. No way! It took me forever to score this baby! My regular's gonna get the feast he deserves! Are you sure you won't change your mind? 
That fishmonger's prepared to offer you twice what you paid for it. Twice? Wow, he must really want it bad. Then again, I guess I kind of bullied him into selling it. Okay, how about a triple what I paid for it? 300,000 yen. Ought to be enough for me to find a good replacement fish. 300,000? Of course, we could always make a trade. If you can catch a tuner or something, I'll swap for the sea bream. I'm just going to pay the money, because I do not like the f fishing in this game. Yeah, we're going to do that in a minute. But first, we're going to see Waluigi 3! Care to fish Repo Man? Post a pic on your Twitter. Lady Kitchenless. Oh, tag me in it! Um, and then I'll definitely see it in my, um, in my mentions. Um, good morning, Kitty son. Ready to get started? Alright, let's see. Flashy. Prioritize your look. Flashy girls, flashy girls. Flashy, flashy, flashy girls. Quick, bring out a flashy girl! I'm sick of dating my left hand! <laughs> Life is all about looking good. If you don't look good, you might as well not be alive. That's a, <laughs> that's a hell of a statement. Oh my god. It's a monomaniac! Hi! Thank you for the resubscribe. I'm actually awake for this. Woo! Oh, I'm so excited to see you! So hostess clubs operate in the morning like Denny's? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> we gotta make her flashy. Girl, we gonna make you flashy. Oh shit, I forgot to look at her stats. And now I can't get out of here. Fuck. You get one shot at this. Loose dango hair. I don't know what that means. Sisterly updo. It's a cute look. I don't know why it's... I don't know. I, I don't know about the translation here. I feel like I'm missing something important. This is cute. Oh yeah, it's a good look. Can, can I at long last afford, no, no. Can I at long last afford one of these gods? No, fucking what? All right, this is what we're doing. Come on, Waluigi 3, let's make it happen. All right, she likes it, so that's good. All right, nice. Okay, so now I have to tutor her in the ways of looking hot. Check stats. But do, do the game designers agree? Well, I don't know. All right, Kitty is gonna teach you about being hot. Here we go. Let's work on your presentation. Makeup, hair, posture, all of these things since certain. <laughs> it's kicking in, y'all. All of these things send certain signals to a man. Ooh, then I can't wait, wait to hear all those juicy secrets. Come on, I mouth work, please. I need just need you to work. God damn it. I wonder why their names are in English on their lockers. How do I signal to a man that I'm not interested in his opinion? Stop shaving your legs. <laughs> Kiryu's Ho Academy. Kiryu, it loves all of its girls. Cool. I feel like I learned a lot just now. I mean, 
I don't know if there's a way to give hotness lessons, but Kiryu's pretty hot, so I mean, I, I feel like I'd hear him out. Oh good, it went from a B to a B. Alright. Go out to the club, child! Let us see how you do! Well, she's not in the shame booth. That's good. Ooh. Oh, yang, 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 yang. Nice! That was some excellent service. Waluigi 3 is in proper form. Y'all don't let me. Don't. Flashing, laid back, refined. Smart girls. Y'all just. Y'all don't ask for a lot, do you? Done ex years ago, except occasionally when I want shaved legs on fresh sheets. Mm. Kitty is hot. I'd hit it like an elderly man driving through a farmer's market. Oh my god. <laughs> the imagery. I mean. Yes. He is very hot. I think he probably has the experience that very hot people do where he's like, people are always so nice and helpful. And I'm like, uh huh. You're very hot. Stop moisturizing and speak like you just woke up. <laughs> Leaving screams and carnage in my way. I mean, you gotta hit it. Alright, so, let's see. I'm going to have her do a relax. Because I think if she doesn't, she's gonna have a little bit of a tantrum. I think you should take some time off to yourself and relax to your heart's content. Do what's good for Waluigi 3. Sounds like a plan. Thank goodness. This girl gets stressed out too easy. She's like me. I too get stressed out too easy. So, how was your time off? Actually, it was just what I needed. Thanks for asking. Sweet, now our stress should go down. Alright. All right, Waluigi 3, I'm just gonna send you out like this. It's a pretty good look. Okay, she's not in the shame booth. Charisma. I want a nice, gorgeous girl to come sit on my lap. Bro, same. Hmm? Nice, Waluigi 3, getting it. I moisturized for me, LOL. <laughs> If I have to giggle for with random dudes for commission, I'd be stressed too. I think I'd be pretty good at this, honestly. Waluigi 3, your, your service is second to none. Or it, it... Yeah, I mean, I like to talk. I like to drink. And, like, I'm Southern, so... I know how to do that thing... Where you make guys feel like they're smart. <laughs> Uh, I learned how to do that <laughs> because, you know, I guess uh, my mother thought it was important. <laughs> and you know what? Shit is useful. So, like, I, I, I can't even lie. Um, I just tweeted my Smurf hair to you. Thank you. I'm going to look at that when I get off of the stream. All right, girl. Are you ready for your lecture? Let's get you smarter. Today, we're going to work on your weak points. Now, I know I might come off a little blunt, but bear with it, okay? Okay. I I just want to know what he's saying. He's like, and you got to do this, and you got to do this. Oh, no! It didn't work! And her stress is going to go, shit, Waluigi 3, what the fuck? Speaking as an asexual, I wouldn't hit it, but he's very hot. Fair enough. I mean, I think, honestly, he's just objectively attractive. Like, there's definitely some people that I'm like, I'm not really into that, but I can see it. You know what I mean? Like, um, Chris Hemsworth, right? Like, it doesn't really go for me. I don't really think a lot of dudes are attractive, to be honest. Um, that's not really my thing, but, um, like, I can see why people think that that is hot. Like, I'm, I can see it, you know. 
Okay, no shame booth. I feel like we're gonna get a, a stress thing, though, possibly. Oh, no, she's good. Ooh. Nice. Not bad, Waluigi 3. You're really turning this place around. Nice! Wow, you're a smooth talker. I'd rather listen to you than my wife. All she does is drone on and on and on. Well, maybe you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, motherfucker. Waluigi 3 needs a spliff. Listen, I would take an edible every day, go right to work, and be like, it's me! And then we would have so much fun, and I would be very popular. Um, I can tell you've both been putting a lot into it. Keep up the excellent work. Uh, my only thing is, is like, I do find interacting with people in person kind of exhausting. Um, so I would need an amount, I would need like an amount of time off, but... Haha, <laughs> it works for me. Why not? Alright, alright. Nice! Waluigi! Okay! She's at number two! All right, y'all. Okay, so we got a couple of options here. I'm gonna see if I can fight somebody. So I, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go um, drink some drinky drinks. And I'll let y'all just say uh, kind of what you're interested in. We can go see, like, actually do the hostess like dating some. Um, where the fuck is Aqua Sky? It's down here, isn't it? Buddy, don't chase me, Jesus. Um, is this it? Yes. Okay. So, um, we can do more Waluigi 3. We can do the actual date, hostess dating some. Um, I can do some karaoke. What do you think? Yes, I'm okay. It makes my job so much better. I mean, it makes a lot of things better. I mean, just about everything, to be honest. Okay. Early times. A silky whiskey with a sharp, clean finish. Let's do it. I bought some, like, um,. Sobering up shit, so hopefully I can finish this place out. People have been loving early times since the day it came out in 1860. It's practically synonymous with bourbon. The flavor is very American. Silky to the tongue, with a sharp, clean finish. The modest price also makes it a wonderful choice for a casual drink. How y'all like my, like, uh, commercial voice? Pretty good, right? Make it a Suntory time. Freshen up your drink, sir. It's not no wild turkey. You know what? Wild turkey will do in a pinch. Okay, Suntory brandy. Here we go. There's so many alcohols. This is one of Japan's top brandies. This bestseller is one over countless people with its bright, fruity aroma and smooth taste. As for the name, VSOP stands for Very Superior Old Pale. But you probably already knew that. I did from these other games, but not from anything else, that's for sure. I think you've already had enough. I have not! Watch me drink some more, ho! Do it! Hmm. Oh, I'm barely drunk. Now you're going to serve me again. Ha ha ha. Suntory brand VO. I don't even know what that is. I think. Ugh, I'm not going to read that. That's kind of gross. <laughs> to be honest. I've never had brandy, but... I don't really like... Isn't it made out of grapes? I don't really like grapey alcohols. I'm gonna stick to bourbon. It's totally grody. I get you. This brandy is reasonably priced. You can drink it every day and still not get tired of it. It's characterized by a clear bouquet and a fruitiness that comes from the freshest grapes. Oh, I was right! It is grapes! I don't really drink wine either. It has a wonderful aftertaste, making it exceptionally easy to drink. I mean, y'all, I don't drink wine, but somehow I end up with everybody's fucking box wine. Like, 
Every time somebody ha I know has a house party and somebody brings pink box wine to the house party and just leaves it like you do, um, like then I then they're like, oh, Allie, you'll drink the pink box wine, and I was like, I will, and then I do. I'm I mix it with like Sprite. <laughs> You can drink it straight or use it in all sorts of cocktails. How like so, somewhere in Philadelphia, some Tiffany is leaving pink box wine at a party, and it's probably gonna end up at my house. Freshen up your drink, sir. Fuck yeah. Like, how did I end up becoming the person you pawn off your box wine on? This <laughs> wine spritzers are the best. They're just like. So large, it takes up so much space in the fridge. The pre- I'm just gonna say no next time. I'm, I'm just like habit left over from being poor where I'm like, free alcohol? Yeah, give it. And now I'm just like, you know what? I could just be like, no, keep your box wet. <laughs> it like, just occurred to me. <laughs> the premium. <laughs> the premium malts won Japan's first world title and then kept the title for the next two years. It's a premium beer by Japanese or even world standards. Unbending commitment to ensuring the best ingredients and Suntory's years of brewing know-how produced a delicious, almost magical flavor. I must say, it's a thing of beauty. But you can't even cook with that pink crap. I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> a frosty glass... There's more? A frosty glass of the premium malts while nibbing, nibbling sashimi or enjoying a Blu-ray movie on your day off. Ah, that's the life. <laughs> Weird calling out of Blu-ray. I mean, I guess maybe at that point they were new or something and like fancy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Just nibble some sashimi and enjoy a Blu-ray movie on your day off. Ah, that's, that's I don't know why this tickles me so bad, but it does. It's, it's so silly. <laughs> I love this game. What's the opposite of anachronistic? <laughs> Uh, dated. It's dating itself. Yes. <laughs> Beef eater, give it to me. I, my favorite thing is how all they have all this, like, fancy-ass liquor, right? And then at the very end, it's like, Sky Vodka, for when you really want to have a shitty hangover. Sky Vodka, college, college kids are drinking it, and boy, are they sorry. I hate gin. I have a bottle of gin that I bought for I don't even remember why. And I cannot get... I'm just like... What is it? I think it was... Josh for a while was making Bloody Marys with gin, which are Bloody Margarets. And those are good as hell. But then we forgot about it. Completely. And now there's just like... Almost an entire bottle of fucking Blue Sapphire gin in my house. And I'm like... I guess we should just start making Bloody Margarets again. That'd be good. Jen makes a great pasta sauce. Oh, that's cool. I think it's just like... Uh, it tastes like how pine sauce smells. And I'm... Uh, I don't even know if it's bitter. It's just so astringent that I'm like, nah. Although, like, I mean, I'll fuck up a Tom Collins, to be honest. A good one. So, I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I just, like... I gotta mix that shit with something, you know? Gin is disgusting. It's certain. It is certainly. Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, it's controversial. It's got. It, it. 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 It definitely separates people into two camps. You know. Um, but yeah, I guess the acquired taste for sure. Um, okay. Beefeater is the gin drinker's gin, enjoyed in 170 countries around the world. It's popular straight up or in cocktails, like the martini. 
I bet that any bar you walk into has at least one bottle of this stuff waiting. I mean, that does seem true. It's got a full juniper flavor with a fresh citrus bite to it. Personally, I love it in a gin and tonic. I do not. I'm like, I gotta mix something with that to cut the taste. Like, I'll drink bourbon straight. I'll drink scotch straight. Um, I've done bourbon shots to get the party started. Um, I can't really do tequila shots anymore because there was an unfortunate incident where um, one of my friends... I do not think she did this on purpose, but she made me laugh, like, as I was taking the tequila shot, and then I shot tequila out of my nose, and, like, it has altered my relationship with tequila forever. <laughs> I can, <laughs> I can hear the capitals in Unfortunate Incident. Oh, yeah, it, uh, you really don't want straight tequila in your sinuses. <laughs> It's not great. It's not great. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Like, I'll still fuck up a margarita, but at this point, like, tequila shots, like, I don't know. I just said to my friend, I was like, every time we do this, I have to shove down the urge to barf. And it's like when we, f it's the first drink, so it's not because of that. And I'm just like, I just don't want to. And she was like, oh, well. Let's just do shots of Jack. And I was like, oh, I'll do that. <sighs> Sorry to hear about your tequila experience. I mean, it makes for a good story, but it certainly ended the party for me. Because I had to go lay down with some, like, frozen peas on my face. Because <laughs> it was not good. I mean, bless them. The, those two girls took a put me, like, they was like, do you need a, you know... I think I went in the shower and was trying to wash my nose out. They, they were not, like, laughing at me. I mean, they were laughing because, like, I mean, it must have been kind of funny. But, you know, it was one of them things. They was trying to help me. But, like, it was not. It was bad. It was bad. It was so bad. Did I use that already? Yeah, I did. I hey, I have. I would like this. A rum. Okay, so this is the lemon heart Damara. This is a nicely balanced medium grade golden rum. Demerara rum is a well known brand produced in Guyana along the Demerara River, which I, I'm I apologize for I mangling that which I probably did, which lies in the northern part of South America. It's fermented and distilled along the banks of the Demerara River, then aged and blended in England. This brings out a bright yet deep aroma and a flavor that's powerful yet elegant. Its faint, refined sweetness is a definite crowd pleaser. I've never heard of this brand. I like rum, though. A cousin of mine um, had so much tequila to the point where he could not have tequila. Yeah. I mean, I did that too also with Kahlua. Um, so, like, white Russians are just off the table now. I can't do anything with Kahlua, which sucks. Because, like, I really liked Kahlua drinks before I fucked up myself over it. Miss Lady. I'm busy. Juicy. Foxy has a way of making me feel so guilty. All right. Haradura Silver Tequila. Oh man, I think we're gonna make it. Haradura Tequila is synonymous with premium tequila. I have never heard of this brand. But that doesn't really mean anything. It uses a naturally fermented 100% blue agave to create its winningly all-natural taste. It boasts excellent aroma and the feel in the mouth that puts it in the very top of tequilas. Either shots or in cocktails, you can't go wrong. Nice. Have I had the Kraken Spiced Rum? I think I have, yeah. Every Guyana is next to Suriname. My husband and his family lived there when he was a kid. Oh, that's cool. That's, yes, release the Kraken. That stuff is the bomb. No, we're not going to stop because we've got Sky Vodka to drink, I guess. Fucking Sky 
buy vodka. Have you decided what you want? I'm like, yeah, I want the very best in terrible hangovers. <sighs> Fancy this shit up, y'all. This is an exceptionally well-known vodka. <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> that's certainly true. It's the fastest growing vodka in the U.S. these days. Yeah, that's what happens when you sell to people our age. The elegant bottle design evokes the vast blue skies of California. And the unique process of repeated distillation and filtration gives it a <laughs> pure smooth flavor. Mm. That's not my recollection, but sure. Maybe that's what made it so popular. No, it's because it's cheap. Either way, I definitely recommend it. They're, they are really nice blue bottles, it's true. Oh, I have to do a bunch of dishes and make dinner. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. You have a lot of these alcohols in your collection? That's cool. Nah, man. I finished your club and I'm ready to go. Alright. Y'all, do you think we can get Waluigi up to the top? Let's get to the top. Oh, shit. I fucking... Did I ramp? No, I didn't. Like, did, why Luigi did I run past you? Girl, where you at? Nah, she's fine. She's fine. It's fine. Wait. Yes, I did. God damn it. This place has got me turned around. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Waluigi 3, I'm back. We're drunk. Good morning, kitty son. Um, alright, let's see. Flashy, flashy, smart, smart girls. All right, bring out a flashy girl. Flashy girls. I wonder if a smart hostess could help me fix my marriage. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. What's wrong with your marriage? All right, let's look at her stats. Yeah, she's a little stressed. She's a little stressed. All right, so training. Mm, let's try free time. I think you should spend your downtime doing whatever you like. You definitely earned it. Hey, I'll take you up on that. Thanks. That bartender hates you if he recommends Sky, lol. Did you make the most of your time? You seem pretty energetic. Definitely, those breaks really help. Breaks are great. Yes, and her charisma went from a B to a B. <laughs> Amazing. All right, I think she's good. Stance. I mean, it's just a pretty good triangle. I'm gonna leave that alone. They don't want you to have like um nice, like good colored hair, like no pink or green hairs. It really fucks up your stats. It sucks. Okay, so she did not get a super service, but. She's She's doing okay. She's doing okay. It's blowing my mind with how smart you are. Like, whoa. Maybe it's a shirt. Okay. Training. Ah. All right. Waluigi three. Or as we sometimes like to call her, Waluigi Santan. <laughs> um, it's a bun. Ah! Hmm. That's ironic considering all the funky hair colors in anime. Do these hostesses cater to stressed salarymen though? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes the hair color... <clears throat> Jeez, one moment. <clears throat> what the heck? I got a little bit of frog in my throat. Alright, let's see if we can make her smarter. Okay. So, today we're gonna study trivia. No matter what the conversation. 
it's always important to be smart about what you say. Knowledge is power, right? I think I know what you mean. I do not. Okay, ask away. Miss Foxy! Alright, that should be more than enough! Good, cause I'm feeling a lot smarter already! Hee <laughs> hee! Y'all, I'm gonna grab something. <clears throat> Hopefully, help this little froggy throat, because I'm like, oh no, I can't have this! I'm trying to stream! One moment. Hello, hello. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I'm just like, oh hell no, don't do that. Walu 3G. Ha <laughs> ha. Be right back. See, um, oh, burb. Burb. Yeah, her smarts went from a B to a B. Alright, go to the club, Waluigi 3. Why didn't I shack up with a smooth sock? Ooh! Ooh! Wow! Waluigi 3, your service is second to none. I prefer a lady with a revi refined visage and a hint of the debonair. A good looking girl is like a breath of fresh air in the sewer of life. I like my girls refined and classy. Okay, Fox, this is all right, y'all. I'm sorry, we have to pause for Cat. Foxy is here, and she wants some attention, and if she doesn't get it, she's just gonna keep headbutting me in the arm like, "Mom, Mom, I'm here, Mom, I'm here." But usually, Foxy, if you give her what she wants, she's pretty satisfied. Is that some good chin scratches, Miss Lady? Oh, look at your little pretty, sweet, pretty face. Oh, sweet, pretty baby. Who's the sweetest baby? Is it you? you smoosh your head real good. Foxy really likes to be smooshed, like, an amount on the head. Like, she's got specific, like, head like skull divots that she really wants you to like smoosh into. I think that's her favorite thing. I'm just like, I don't know, Foxy. It seems like I'm smooshing you kind of a lot. She's just, she'll just push into it to try to get you to do it more. Hello to Cat. Foxy, everyone says hello to you. They love you. Everybody loves you. Who could not love you? So sweet and pretty. Okay, baby. I know. We've been moving around a lot of furniture, and because we're we're about to get in like all new furniture, and I'm changing a bunch of stuff around, and like I've been having people like from like yards, I've been putting stuff on like yard sale apps and being like, hey, come get some free furniture, and people are coming and taking stuff out, which is great. But the cats are like, what the fuck? What the fuck? They're like not having this shit. All right, girl, you must relax. Except for Foxy, who's like, Foxy just has the memory of a goldfish for a lot of stuff. And she's just like, it's fine. It's always been like this. Oh, nice. It worked. And she doesn't really seem to remember most things after like two or three, like usually like two days. And she doesn't remember. Um... She remembers that she loves her mommy. Oh my god. Like, Foxy just... <sighs> she just loves me, right? Like... Mm. Oh, you found the new follower emoji! Yes! That's the Foxy emoji! There's a Foxy one and a Hodge one. So there's the Howdy one or the Foxy one and then there's Fo Hodge says what? 
Not bad, Waluigi 3. You're really turning this place around. I have ideas. I have more emoji slots open, so I have, like, definitely ideas for emojis. I just, like, I need, like, time to put, like, um, everything together. I didn't know. I, like, I had, like, three emoji slots, so I have three emojis, but, like, the other two were really only for, like, tier two and tier three, so you never really got to see them. Um, but then they were like, um, we're, we've opened more emojis, or emojis, we've opened more emote slots for you, um, for followers, and I was like, oh shit, so I just took the two ones that I already had and moved them to be followers, and now I'm like, I gotta grab a bunch more made, because also there's like, there's something with bits, I haven't done anything with that yet, but I think I've got like, five more slots or something like that now? Yes, there he is! I didn't know you could restrict the use of your emotes to your own channel. Is that new? I don't know. They did stuff to the emotes. I thought it was, um, I thought it was just for followers, but, like, I didn't, like, I'm not sure if you could, if you're a follower of me, if you could use it in another channel. I'm not sure about, honestly, I'm not really, I don't, I don't understand how the emotes work, to be honest. I'm just, like... Well, they're so cute and people like them, so I'm definitely gonna have some done. But, um, I just upload them into the slot. And Twitch is like, you have these many slots, upload this size PNG. And I'm like, okay, let's <laughs> just put them in there. But, like, um, if you, if there's a way to, like, let y'all use them wherever you want, I'll definitely do that. But, um,. Honestly, I'm real bad about checking my notifications on Twitch, um, like my back-end notifications, because usually the back-end notifications are shit I don't give a shit about, and it's just like, hey, League of Legends, and I'm like, fucker, I don't care, um, <laughs> or like, they'll be like, you can do something, or like, whatever, and I'm just like, probably not gonna do that thing, and, um, so it's usually like, Ever since I made affiliate, I, <laughs> I kind of stopped, I mean, a lot's been going on, and I stopped kind of checking it, because the stuff that it was giving me was like, it just didn't seem like it was that important, and I forgot that it existed, and so then I went and looked at it, and it was like, you have new emote slots, and I was just like, how long has this been in here? <laughs> Because I don't know. Like, it was like when I got, um, like, more, uh, channel assignments for, like, VIPs and stuff. And I, d I didn't even realize I had that. And so, like, definitely two or three months after, th after they, like, gave, after I met the requirements to get it. Um, I'm bad. I, am I a bad streamer? Uh, I do things my own way. <laughs> Um, but, like, you know, I'm just, like, I just want to do, like, if y'all want it, I'll, like, m try and make it happen. But, um, I should look into that. I really need to look into, like, bot modding and there's a number of things I haven't had a chance to do. Twitch keeps trying to be like, hey, you should upload a channel trailer. And I'm like, ho, oh, there's a lot of things I should do, okay? And I haven't been able to do word one of them, so I have not had time to go through my old VODs and, like, hack together a, a channel trailer. Like, can you, can you leave me alone? Ah, oh, new wardrobe shit. Fuck yes. I guess, um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> a lot of the times. Uh, ooh, new earrings. Oh my god! We're doing it. Fuck yes! It's more jokers. You can be tell the talk of the party if you can pull this look off. Whoa! Alright, that is shiny yeah I've done even less work on my channel and I don't even have the excuse of a day job I mean I'm just like I don't
don't know. You know, the things where people are like, you you have to do this or you have to do that when people are like asking for advice on getting started and stuff. And I'm just like, I mean, like you gotta be regular. That's true. Um, whoa. With jewelry. Y'all, this is a look. Not for lack of trying. I just take forever to do basic stuff. Listen, I mean, you don't gotta tell me. I've had update your website on my to-do list for a year. I had clean freezer. Ugh, that's just frustrating. I thought we were gonna have to... We have one of them bottom freezers with the door that pulls out. And, like, I was... I was trying to make broth in little ice cubes, like... I'm making it overcomplicated. And I spilled, like, broth in the bottom of the freezer and then, like, panicked because, like, how the fuck am I supposed to get back? The whole door's in the way. And, like, it just was in there for a long time. And then Josh looked at it because I was like, we're going to have to take this fucking door off this fucking fridge. And I, th the thought of that just terrifies me. And so I was like, I don't know what to do, and so I'm, this weekend I was just like, fridge, 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 let's do it, let's make it happen. I looked it up, how to take the door off, I think I know what to do, let's try to make it happen. And like, he got that door open, <laughs> and was like, huh, I think I can go in from the bottom, and then he took his little long arms, and just clean the fucking thing and I was like god fucking damn it has it been this easy the whole time but that's what happened I'm like well you know what it's done and now I know it can be done so it'll never like be like that that long again but a little bit frustrating relatable yeah I mean I'm just like I mean, I know I gotta do some stuff, but like, you know, I've been sick and whatever. What's your stats like? What's your stats like, girl? Oh, okay, she's good. All right, maybe? She has not taken a lecture yet. I'm gonna try it though. Is Josh thin? Um, Josh is, um, he was thin when we met. He's gained um, weight since we've been together, which is normal as you age. Um, there's also like, well, I don't want to get into his medical stuff. So um, yeah, he's um, he is larger now than he used to be. Um, it's hard for me as his wife to judge because I see him all the time and he's like, so, yeah, I mean, um, he's never dieted, for sure, um, and, like, which, like, thank God I got to him <laughs> before, like, you know, because he, he has had a strong, like, fat liberation foundation, um, you know, which a lot, most people don't have as they, like, age, and, and a lot of people do end up gaining weight because that's pretty normal, and, um, you know, like, a lot of different things can happen in your life that can cause weight fluctuations. Um, that's fine when I hear long arms, I hear lanky. I mean, yeah, he's he, he was a lanky dude um, when I first met him. Uh, he was just, just, he was like 28 and he was like just at that end of the period where like um, he was still hadn't, like, you know, broadened out quite to the, you know what I mean? Because, like, a lot of real young guys, like, in their early 20s, they're still, like, they are just metabolism machines, you know, and it just all goes straight through them, and they're just, like, you know, still, their bodies are still kind of 
becoming their man bodies, essentially. So they're, like, transitioning into their, like, grown man bodies. And, like, you know, a lot of guys, it takes some... It's just age is different for different people. Especially, it's hard. It's weird with teenagers, because, like, I was in school with a guy who had a full beard. Like, a full man beard at, like, 16 was not usual and like he was already really tall and really broad in the shoulders and like same people in our grade look like little kids and it's just it's just different um i think that's fascinating because i looked like i was 12 years old until i was about 22 um and everyone's like oh that's gonna be great i'm like i mean I don't know I it's it's nice I guess because like I, I really don't worry about that kind of stuff but on the other hand it's like um you know like a, I've been people treat me like when people pe older people are pretty condescending to younger people a lot of the time and people generally tend to presume I'm a lot younger than I am which means that people are somewhat more condescending to me than they definitely should be and certainly for the age that I actually am at the time and then I think that with the um oop here we go <laughs> I think people also tend to perceive the um like just the way that people are with ADHD and the like, you know, kind of general manner seems to come off to people as like childish, which is a little insulting, but like, I just feel like people treat me like a little kid, even into my forties. And I find that incredibly frustrating. <laughs> I'm in my third decade and people treat me like I am 18 and I am tired. Like, yeah, everyone's like, oh, you'll love it when you get older. And I'm like, I mean, I, I would just love to be treated like an adult ever. Um, and that just never seems like, I'm just like, when is it going to happen? I, it, I don't know if it's ever going to happen. And I just, I'm just sick of being infantilized, to be honest. Her stress is up. Let's give her some free time. I'm in my 40s and I'm expecting that to happen every day. I mean, I'm just like, I just don't think it's going to happen. I'm just like, this is it. This is life. This is what it's going to be like. Oh, good. It worked. Okay. Um, oh, well, you know, I mean... I'm just like, I'm just sick of people treating me like, are you sure you want to do that, little missy? And I'm like, I'm 43. <laughs> yeah. I love them skull earrings. Those are hot. Nice. Alright, so I just gotta like, max, I gotta get her, um, S ranked on all of those like stats. Okay, okay. Let's try. Let's try talking tips. You don't want to have baby. What if you meet the right man? I mean, to me, the thing that's even more insulting is the like. And this has happened more than once where uh the gynecologist implies that my husband is going to lie to me or or cheat on me or something um when we're discussing you know surgical sterilization like and i'm just like you are making an amount of assumptions about uh, things you don't know anything about, and I would rather you did not. Just the fucking gall of gynecologists, why are they all like that? 
Like, like, well, you know, maybe your husband will leave you for someone who can have a baby. And I'm like, I'm sorry, would you like to go out in the parking lot and have a fight? Because, like, we can. Because what the fuck did you just say to me? That... What the fu- It's just some shit, man. That ain't even right. I'm like, yo, did they treat you to insult people's marriages in fucking gynecology school? Because, like, what is this? And why are all y'all like this? I worked in healthcare for over 10 years. I heard so much nonsense. I'm just like, y'all will, like, literally just say anything in the world not to do with tubal ligation. And, like, I'm like, at the time, I was just like, like, well, you might change your mind. And I'm like, I am 38 years old. How old do I gotta be to know what I want? And the answer is, uh, I mean, I guess they'll just be, I guess by the time I go into full menopause, they'll decide that I really it was serious that I was never gonna have a baby. And until then, it's just suspect. It's like, well, what if your husband says he's gonna get a vasectomy and he lies to you? And I'm like... Uh, I can't believe you're saying this to me. I mean, I just can't. I can't believe I've had this conversation so many fucking times. I mean, number one, if... It's not like you can't fucking tell when you live with someone if they, if they had surgery on their genitals. Like, what are you talking about? Even if it wasn't incredibly insulting, your relationship is not their job. I'm on my third Morena. My husband came with me when I got the most recent one installed, and he was like, you're never going to do that again. I'm making an appointment with your urologist to get snipped. He, I crushed his hand and nearly passed out from the pain, but kept chanting, babies hurt worse. I mean... Where the fuck did these people get off? And they're just like, well, I mean, you have to take birth control. And I'm just like, how many times do I got to tell y'all that birth control makes me literally suicidal? Like, stop telling me to take that. And that's, I'm just like, they're like, well, you, you have to do something. Like, you can't just leave it up to him. And I'm like, I think it's my decision I think it's my decision. I got pregnant on the pill, like fuck the pill. Oh my God, like all they want to do is like get you to take the pill. And it's just like, I mean, for the people that it works for, it's glory and it should be free and over the counter for anybody who wants it. But like, it don't work right for everybody. It just doesn't and I'm like and y'all gotta tell people over a certain weight it is not as effective why are y'all out here lying to people my insurance didn't cover my pills but it did cover the abortion it was fucked up what the fuck that's man insurance I'm just like, it's like we're getting to the end of the year, so we're getting to the part of the year where we find out how the insurance is going to be fucking worse next year and cost more, like it does every fucking year. And then everything resets and you have to pay, like, you know, all your deductibles all over again, and you're just like, um, let me go pick up my $5 medication, oh right, it costs $400 until I pay all that off and then it's $5 start all that fucking business over again. Open enrollment. Here we go. It's almost like every individual has a different body that has its own needs and requirements. Shocking news at 11 for doctors. Better yet, include fat people in the research and figure out how to make it equally effective at every size. I mean, I'm not sure... I'm not sure, and I'm not sure if they know. Like, if there may be, because the problem is, is like, 
with the dosing because increasing the dosages is causes side effects and more problems for people and so it's like you know fat like body fat like does like sort of generate and and like metabolize hormones and so like it's not just a difference of like I don't I'm just like I'm not sure if they know how to do that safely um but I'm pretty sure they've never tried so it'd be nice if they'd try um like look into it motherfuckers oh nice I know look at that I keep getting this. Uh, let me get out of this. I'm like, could y'all let me mod this shit, please? Thank you. What the fuck? I'm like, I don't know. I modded it from the phone last time. I don't know what's going on now. There we go. That's interesting. One second, y'all. Okay. These are suspended accounts. That's interesting. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm like, I've apparently gone into the range where people are like, do you want to buy fake followers? And I'm like, no, I, no. I don't need to do that. I'm never gonna need to do that, and I never will do it. Although, y'all, I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure that uh, Connor of the Faketopia um, did purchase followers on Instagram, and I'm pretty sure he purchased views on that little video he made, um, yes, S Charisma, great, um, he made a little response video to me, and my, um, my flex is that I've never watched it, and I never will, because I don't care, um, I mean, I had my, my best friend, bless her, she helped, she helped me with this, she helped me edit it, she, like, um, no, she watched that enough. whole Ding Dang movie, because, like, she works in, um, you know, doing video production, and I, it wasn't just as, like, look at this as my friend so we can talk about it. I wanted her to look at it as someone who works in video production, and I wanted, um, I took it to actually a couple of people who worked in video production and a person who, um, was a film professor and was just like, so, like, this interview is not real right like i didn't even say that right i was like just watch this and tell me what you think and they and like it, well my best friend was the only person i had watched the whole thing but i was just like watch the, the, i clipped the interview out for the other people because i just i felt bad the thing is bad it's like it's offensive but it's also super boring um it's just really badly done um <laughs> every way um but like all right girl why don't you go relax um so i just could not believe that people that like people did not immediately twig on to the fact that that interview was just fucking fake um because it like it looks so fake to me and i'm, I'm like maybe it's because i make videos um that i can see how, how fakey it looks um, I need to watch your video. I keep saying I will. I'm never getting around to it. Listen, I heart Linux. It's very long. It's almost twice as long as Fatopia is. But like, it takes two to three, at least. Anytime anyone says some shit, it takes like at least two to three times to debunk them as it does for them to just say some bullshit. Because, like, I gotta back up what I'm saying. <laughs> they don't. 
And, like, there was so much more. I, Jesus, the amount of shit that I just let uh, left on the cutting room floor because I am like, this cannot break two hours. I am breaking my life on this. Um, but I was just like, this is not real. And then, but I sent it to them without, like, um, asking them if it was real. I was just like, what do you think of this? And, like, they had a number of thoughts. But none of them, like, really <laughs> addressed whether or not the interview was real. And, um, and so I went back to them and was like, uh, okay, so, like, but is this a real interview? Um, because he says it's real. And they were like, no, <laughs> it's not. And, like, Literally, one of them just sent me back an email that was just the laughing emoji, like, 20 times. Because they're like, no, it's not real. There's literally no way it could be real because of this, 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 and this. And then my best friend just got obsessed with how fake it looked. And then, um, <clears throat> oh my god, she did watch the whole thing with her poor boyfriend who's not like, he's just like a, he's just like a nice guy, you know, he's not like a fat activism guy, but he's like, you know, a nice guy, um, and, and he was like, so angry, he was just like, he was like, I hate this so much, it's so offensive, and I was just like, yeah, but does the interview look real? I don't care. I don't know. I think my brain is broken. I've just been doing this for so long that, like, shit like that doesn't offend me anymore. I'm just like, this is very sad. <laughs> um, but, like, the way that it was, it was not the fact that he was being offensive about fat people that made me angry. Um, and I did get angry towards the end because I was just like, I had to listen to so much of this guy's like alternate media, it, and it just wore on me. Um, because like, I mean, y'all, this guy went on an extended ramble over whether or not what he thought the Joker would think about Brexit, and I just about lost my mind. And Josh was like, please stop listening to these these vlogs. You are so grumpy. You are so grumpy because I was just like, I was, <laughs> it's like, the jo I'll tell you what the Joker thinks about Brexit. Fucking nothing. Because the Joker's an American and Americans don't know what fucking Brexit is. Jesus. And then I was like, and he's not real. Oh my God. <laughs> It's just like, he left, I'm like, if you are gonna make up lies about fat activists, if you are gonna lie, because the whole thing was like, these people, like, stormed out of an interview, and they refused to talk to me, and they're like, trying to shut me down, and they call me a Nazi, and they're trying to cancel me, and like, it's just, none of it's true. And I'm just like, if you're gonna lie, and like a lot of big, big, very big fitness accounts picked this up and ran with it, so it was getting traction. Um, and now he don't, he, now he's rebranded his entire internet presence because of me, I think. I mean, like, you know what, like, this dude could come back at any point, and he very well may, but, um, like, as for now, he's pretty well shut down. And it's because of that video. And I'm just like, I wanted to do like a, um, like a H-bomb Davis Arini on this guy. And like, that's kind of what I was aiming for. And you know what? It had the same effect. <sighs> Some men are really obsessed with their own opinions and it shows. Be right back. See you when you're back. Um, alright, we got stats, 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 stats. Everybody! Okay. Tifa didn't come down for the dinner, and I was like, oh my god, is she okay? And Josh was like, she's fine. She's just upset because we've been moving around the furniture. And I was like, no, we have to make sure that she's eating. And she, she came, she snuck down, and she's eating now. And she's upset because we moved, we moved things, and more things are going to be moved. And she's just, 
she don't like that. And I get it, because this house is, ev like, that's like changing the fabric of the universe. And I understand that it's upsetting, but it's got to happen. But she's, oh, she's mad. And she's just hiding under the bed, my baby. This rules ass, Allie. I'm going to watch it this weekend for sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely tell me what your husband thinks about whether or not he thinks it looks real because like I mean I don't professionally work in video you've seen my video output I mean but like I am a profession I'm professionally trained in design and I am I have a, a BFA in theater design so like I was kind of coming at this from a like what do the setups have to look like from a tech perspective and how does that preclude this ever being real um, you know, and I at least have the ability from, like, those two backgrounds to be able to say, like, it, it, no, I'm sorry, this does not make sense. And, um, my friend, I did, she did watch his response video, um, for me, I owe her so bad. I'm like, I owe her an amount of beers for having done that. Um, because she's like, it's so shitty and unpleasant. Um, <laughs> But I was like, I just need to know if I fucked something up. Like, if he's caught me in some kind of massive fuck up. Because he's like, you know, teasing over on Instagram that he's got the goods. And I'm just like, if I fucked up, then I need to like, I'm going to have to like, you know, eat the crow and face up to it. Um, so I was nervous. But like, she was like, no, he ain't got shit. <laughs> She was like, not only does he not have shit, he literally admitted that he faked some of the stuff you said he must have faked. And I was like, okay. I was like, did he admit that the interview's fake? She's like, nah, he's still saying that's not fake. And I'm like, yeah, it is though. And she's like, oh yeah, it is. But like, he's not admitting to it. Um, and I was like, I mean, I don't really expect him to admit to that, but I was shocked to, that he, um, that he did admit that the, um, there's a screen cap that he uses of this, like, supposed Twitter conversation that he's having, and he admits that that's fake. I'm just like, honey, you can't fake footage and just put it in your documentary that's not a documentary anymore. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, but, um, I think he bought, I <laughs> think he bought views for that, um, because it peaked up a little bit and <laughs> then went away. Um, you know, because I was monitoring these things. I was a little bit concerned because, um, you know, he had all of these, like, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of, like, of, like, real presence on, like, you know, fitness weirdo YouTube and whatnot, um, like, backing this guy and up in his, like, shitty fake documentary. And I was just like, if these people decide to take this up, I'm going to have a real... I'm gonna have a real fucking bad time. But apparently they decided not to go up for this guy because he looks like so much of a fucking doofus by the time I got done with him. I think they all cut ties and that was the end of it. Because all of his shit... Because he tried to direct people. I can kind of tell now if somebody's buying followers because if they... There's a certain amount of harassment level that you expect based on how many pe followers that people have. And like... It just... It was like five people so I'm like so like none of this is real um that's very funny <laughs> I don't know that's just very funny to me um but yeah I'm just like I mean this is what you know you can't shortcut on shit like that man like fake ads that's what killed me when I found out that he had made fake ads fake audible ads I was just like, well, I have to do this now <laughs> because this is too funny. It's too funny. Oh my God. I know the audible <laughs> ads. I mean, the audible ads are what cinched it for me because I was going back and forth on whether or not it was even worth doing because it seemed like everybody had kind of forgotten about it but then this guy was like I'm gonna make more shitty movies about fat people and you know it seemed like 
he was gonna try to grift his way into a niche in this, like, you know, fitness weirdo, whatever, and I was just like, no, you're fucking not, um, and then I Davis arenied him, because that's my, like, fat activism H bomber guy video, essentially, because I'm just like, you know what, ain't nobody gonna stick up for us but ourselves, and, like, and I'm just tired of people making up lies about fat activists. I'm just sick of it. It happens all the time. And it sucks. And, like, y'all gotta stop lying about us. Um. <laughs> and, like, that is just simply that. Because I'm just, like, I just wanted to be, like, the next time somebody decides they want to make up a big-ass lie about fat activists, you know what? And you may be... Like, you know, somebody that nobody's ever heard of, and maybe nobody will look at your shit and figure out that it's a lie, but, like, maybe somebody will. Somebody might look, you know? I just wanted to put that out there because, like, I don't think people should be able to lie on us like that. It's not right. And that is just simply that. Oh, no. What? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, we got school uniforms. Let it go, let it go. Man, this is some puffy ass, I guess. Why I gotta pay for that? Yeah, I guess. What y'all want cosplay now? Yep. Let it go, let it go. Gotta move on. I mean, I don't know about them ears. They're Really like that. I don't really like that either. A little much, but whatever. What the fuck? You told me to do this. What? Free time. Why did y'all ask me to do this and then dock me points for it? That make that make sense, Yakuza. I'm talking to you. Why have you done this? Unfair. Unfair. But yeah, I think people underestimate mockery as a tactic. Um, because like people ask this guy nicely people like people tried to teach like you know he said he wanted to learn people tried to show him and like gave him all access to all the info and stories and everything that he swore that he wanted and like you know when they found out what kind of thing it was it asked to be taken out and he just kind of laughed at him and was like lol I don't gotta do shit and I'm like you know like Okay, if that's going to be your attitude, I can roll with that. I'm not... Let's put her back in... Yeah, I like that. Classy. Love it. Gotta move on. Break it down. Just keep on dancing. Let it go. Let it go. God 
Damn it, why is everything so expensive? Jesus. Alright, I hope you like this. I even double checked on the Audible ads. I like went to a couple of like actual influencers that I know and was like, uh, so like you gotta have the URL or the code, right? Like it's not just like Audible's not just paying you money to be like, hey, do an Audible. <laughs> no, that's not how it works because they need to track that shit. you grind to increase stats, can you grind enough to compensate for fun hair colors? You cannot. Because the stats are different than the pink triangle refined classy whatevers. Oh, girl, what? Well, it's fine. Let's go to the club, Waluigi3. This is your night. I feel it. I can feel it. Yes! She got it. Yeah. Wow. Waluigi 3. Your service is second to none. I mean... He got all, like, pissy about it. But I'm just like, you ain't getting nothing back but what you put out. Didn't nobody ask you to do this? And a bunch of people asked you not to. And told you why you shouldn't. And you did it anyway. So, like, you know. You said it yourself. Like, everything's up for making fun of. And I'm just like, I think that mockery is underrated as a tool. Um, like, because it shut down what nothing else did. Which is kind of wild. I mean, I don't really like to do it that way. Like, I really would like for people to just not be like that but like you know if you determine you live you live by the being a shitlord sword you gonna die by that sword too because i'm just like i i learned how to be mean from the meanest people in the world that i learned how to be funny about it too um so like that's like breathing for me i mean honestly i spend a lot of time trying to like suppress being like that so you know it's nice to have a legitimate reason to like give into that once in a while because I'm just like ain't nothing there but what you earn buddy I just he's like oh you know she insulted me or whatever and I'm like no I didn't I never did I never said anything about you personally um you know I'm just talking about your work and how shitty it is and like playing your own words back for people oh fuck oh it's not gonna happen god damn it Waluigi 3 where are all the stressed girls? Doesn't this club have any incredibly stressed out girls? I love it when my girl looks like she's gonna crack under the pressure. Yo, that's weird. Reap what you sow, bro. <laughs> Will you be streaming for another half hour? Actually, no. After this one, I'm going to be off. Um, this is the last shift. And then we're done. All right. Yep, so I'm actually about to end. Um, what's with the assholes that want their hostesses to suffer? I don't understand what's going on now. I think it has to do with the cosplay event that I'm refusing to do. But I'm just like, no, we're going to... We're not doing that. That's weird. Not if it makes all her stats go down. I'm not going to let her be stressed out. Why y'all being weird? Don't be weird. Alright, here we go. I swear a lot of men get off on stressed out. I gotta go catch you later. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you again. I'll catch you. Um, I'll catch all y'all later. Uh, the, this is the end of the stream. Uh, thank y'all so much for coming and hanging out. This is a really fun stream. Um, thank you to everybody who was in the chat. Thank you to everybody who watches and doesn't chat. And thank you to everybody who watches again later. Anybody who comes by the stream makes the stream great, and I really appreciate all of you. Um, vods are going up. Uh, I should be up to date. 
There's a link on Twitter if you want to watch older VODs. Um, I am embargoed by like a day, but that's it. And um, yeah, that's it. My name is Allie. I'm from OK To Be Fat because it is OK To Be Fat. Hopefully, I'll see you on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern. If not, hopefully, I'll see you again whenever you're able to come. And, um, you know, and we'll, we'll have fun when you're here. All right. I got to go. Bye.